Well, YouTube, I am back. It is very late in the evening or early in the morning, depending upon your perception of time and how your biological clock works. I haven't made a video in quite some time, and I'm just getting back into the old swing things, as it were. Anyhow, um, I'm really, really mad. Outraged, inflamed, infuriated, infuriated. Um, yet again, my employer has sent me a letter saying that I am fired because I am off sick on a disability and haven't produced sufficient documentation to uh, continue that disability. That's the legal lease that they use. I'm, I'm, I'm sure that they will use. Actually, it's because I've been out and haven't returned on the day that I was supposed to, even though I have applied for the proper extensions, I've contacted my doctor, and there is where the crux of the issue really lies, and the fact that the doctor sits on his butt and doesn't get my forms in on time uh, to what, within the last two and a half, three weeks, I've had numerous uh, contacts with that particular office trying to get them to have him sign off on the forms. And one time he did sign off on the forms and didn't provide any documentation. So then we were in another boondoggle and trying to get him to get the documentation and send those in. And at the beginning of the week, I wanted to make sure that this was all on track and I was assured by the uh, company that handles the leave of absence. And here you got to understand there's, there's two companies that handle the leave. One that gives you the time, one that gives you the cash. And the company that provides the time, you know, um, assured me that uh, they had received the documentation and that the uh, extension was under review. Uh, along about Thursday, I got a call from the benefits man, not, not the benefits manager, the uh, leave coordinator at the uh, employer that I have wanting to know why my doctor hadn't provided any information. The information that she has said, had said that he hadn't provided any information, that no documents had been sent in, and yet I told her that uh, I had been assured by them that documents had been sent in, yada, yada, yada. I called them again, and they assured me again. I called my doctor, and they assured me that it had been. So I thought that, well, okay, it's under review, and I what they had said, and when it comes, it will come, and we'll be all fine. Uh, Saturday morning, I'm not recording this on Sunday, uh, about 3 o'clock in the morning on Sunday, but Saturday, yesterday, I received a certified letter telling me that due to my inability to produce forms that I had um, been terminated. So, you know, I am angry, I'm mad, I'm hostile. Um, I've sent a message to the direct, not the director of human resources, but to the director of benefits in the human resources department, letting her know uh, that I don't know who this lady is, talking to but everyone who talks to me says that things are on track and why they're going to now officially terminate me which you know takes me off my cash coming in from disability and whatnot it's just a frustration that I do not need and I didn't want to be talking this long about that what I would like to be doing is be at a bar and kind of drinking my sorrows away to be honest with you and all <sighs> honesty there uh but that's where things stand, and uh, I'm going to be contacting uh, a lawyer. I have a friend who's going to get me the names of people who do who, who specialize in disability uh, rights and uh, disability for Social Security. You know, the, the rights of the disabled and rights of people with disabilities and all of that. And I'm just going to, you know, I'm not going to sit back anymore. Um, whether my doctor is at fault or what have you, uh, I don't think that they're right to just, when I have put forth the effort that I need to, that they have the right to just terminate me out and about, except for the only reason that they don't want to pay the money anymore. But I'm 
at risk of losing my health even more because of this fiasco and it's just better that someone else come into the mix and work with this through me. I'm going to put up another video um, after this. Excuse me. <coughs> A little bit of asthma coming in again. Stress-induced asthma. Can you tell? Gee, what causing that? But anyhow, I'm going to put up another video um, after this one called Trichotillomania to explain why my beard is very, very irregular and why my hair in some areas is very irregular. Uh, show you how stress impacts my life and a disorder that I have. But I'm still here. I'm still trying to do the best that I possibly can under the circumstances, all things being considered. Um, hope you don't mind the yellow background because that's what happens with all my videos because of the lighting I have in my room. I've talked for six minutes and I think I've got a little of this off my chest. Hope you don't mind me being the people to whom I get things off my chest. Talk to you soon. Bye.